Caviar Key provides a scenic setting for humanity's destructive impact on the natural world. As is the trend in other coastal towns, long stretches of Port Clovis's shoreline are now the exclusive domain of the wealthy. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. The white and black attack, the orca. will now feast upon the shark's oversized liver, high in vitamins A, C, and B12, plus iron and riboflavin. Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color.
Greeks believed that King Poseidon ruled the waters, whereas here at Prosperity Sands, they're ruled by luxury leisure groups international. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. The white and black attack, the Orca. The ocean is a fluid and fascinating world, always changing, forever in motion.
It's vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. The water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear, which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling. the shark's oversized liver, high in vitamins A, C, and B12, plus iron and riboflavin. Coastal erosion currently impacts over 70% of the globe's sandy beach environments. Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and county. Nice. Put that one in your Nat Geo sizzle reel. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. The white and black attack, the orca. Once the featured attraction at marine mammal parks, now have a new favorite trick, killing things.
or family members who have been eaten or happy by sharks. Cats three them can away if they got their hands. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the winners really gotta work on those side areas.
shark proves as slippery as it is thick. Fed Colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Conflict escalates. Hunting bull sharks was made illegal in 1997. Many shark hunters get around the rule by not caring. Got a shark somewhere out by painted sails. Boats on the water. We got a shark that needs putting down. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close.
The Gulf Stream is just one of many major currents that mariners have used since time immemorial to circumnavigate the globe. A shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Even after the creation of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. A shark's ceaseless activity is partly due to their lack of a swim line, but also to their insatiable appetite. Albino animals are often vulnerable to poachers looking to sell exotic pets to Ukrainian oligarchs. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Thanks to powerful risk assessment software, we now know that this was a wildly idiotic place to build vacation homes. Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts, individuals, or homeowners associations.
Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of lots of jets. Insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. The shark's movements are supple and precise. Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish.
every summer, Port Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA. Due to Caviar Key's increased coastal exposure, storms that had a minor impact three decades ago caused significant flooding today. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. Every shark, no matter how small or docile, is anatomically a potential source of danger. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sure, we could avoid catastrophic risks for future generations. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. As the terrain of the Gulf Coast is relatively flat, even a small rise in sea levels could trigger an immense loss of land. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. To see this area is to witness the inability of the hydrosphere to support the growth of humanized landscapes along the Gulf.
Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. The accelerating destruction of the Gulf has occurred in tandem with a wholly humanized view of progress and development. 
Caviar Key provides a scenic setting for humanity's destructive impact on the natural world. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. The air out here has a distinctive smell, that of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing bouquet of volatile organic compounds. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color. The gulf is vast. 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fit among the world's sea. The ocean is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal but mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian, but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers' eternally wise lobbyists. The ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi-owned super. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Some real bad fish gears because of these oil tankers spilling. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. Bounty time, fellas.
Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. As the disparity between the over-wealthy and the poor grows, so too does the yachting industry, with a record number built last year. That's good. Staircases and a mosaic swimming pool, the Shadow Lane is still only for Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht. mostly consists of hammerhead sharks.
protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. By identifying key disaster-related issues, commercial developers can be more informed recklessly building along the coast. The planet's great tides encircle the globe in constant motion. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. 